And guys, I haven't played this game for a while. Uh, I actually forgot where we are. No, I didn't. We are in the South Seattle docks. Upon leaving the seamstress's union behind, you headed to the docks. The Ripper killed Sam, and maybe he or she slipped up with his latest victim, left some useful evidence. Only one way to find out. South Seattle's your typical industrial area. Grit, grime, and gray. The rain doesn't help matters any. Layers of dirt mixed with abandoned wood pellets repurposed into makeshift furniture for the day workers. Garbage collects in the gutters of the broken down street. Disreputable is the district's middle name. Your destination is the National Transportation Safety Board Warehouse. It's located on a small strip of dock toward the less, the less maintained area of the waterfront. Despite the presence of those who linger in such places, it's quiet as you approach the gate. Alrighty then. Go. Okay, so let's poke around. We're looking for the Ripper. Let's see what we can find. We gotta find that new body. Alright, um... Hey, Streetwalker, you look friendly. Um, you know anything about the NSTB? Bums around stealing old crap from that place for years. Not worth my time, though. You're a nice lady. Thanks, lady. Oh, my error indicator says I should be going this way. Um... Hey, it's a Lone Star Guard. Halt. The guard looks bored. He toys with his gun absentmindedly, like he would shoot something on a whim just to watch it die. You're about to trespass on corporate property. You're looking to get dusted, street scum? I'm working with Lone Star on the crime scene investigation of the NSB warehouse. Sure you are. And I'm low for King of Dragons. Beat it. Fucker. Come here. No. Fuck you. Ugh. Alright. Oh, hey. I found something slightly convenient. Um, can I borrow it? <laughs> Maybe that noodle machine is still working. Thanks, buddy. Now, where am I going to use this ladder to get over that fucking thing? I just want to go over the gate. But I don't really know where I'm supposed to. You know what this, this, this thing right here, these bubbles... They seriously remind me of that game Syndicate from, like, the 90s. Computer strategy game. I think I watched Grimmith play that, and it was really, really cool. But I would never, ever play it. He has way more patience than I do. Um, let's see. Let's just go fucking climb the fence by the guard and kick, kick him in the shit. What up, buddy? I got a ladder. Fuck you. Alright. There's some holes in the fence over here. Um, is there, yeah, is there like an alley I can go into? Nope. Go around back here. Where the hell am I going? Alright, well, whatever. Apparently, whatever I'm supposed to be doing isn't here. Let's head down the street a bit. Hey, streetwalker lady. Do you know any vulnerabilities in the Lone Scar security? Not a friend, a friend of mine. I need you to have some fun with the guard by the fence around the corner. 20 of me buys you a five minute distraction. Man, you must be good at your job. All right. Nice. Thanks, lady. Go do some stuff. I'm a... That's a big gun you have there, says the lady. I'm gonna... Hoof it here. Just. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm supposed to be going in there. <laughs> I just cartoonishly run back and forth behind the guard. Um, yeah, let's hit it. That was nice. Alright. Um, inside the large gray warehouse is a typical. Or is as typical as on the outside. High ceilings adorned with girders and rickety catwalks top a huge utilitarian room. Concrete and steel walls meet a concrete floor. This place is for storing things, nothing more. Despite quiet on the outside, the inside's a hornet's nest of Lone Star officers going about their business. In the center of their activity is the Emerald Rip City, City Ripper's latest victim. With their uniforms everywhere, no one stops you at the door. Seems this case hasn't leaked to the press. Lone Star, no, you have a job to do. Great. <sighs> oh, 
Oh shit, is that our friend? No, yeah, there's Officer Aguari. Buddy! Um, you know the traffic these days, buddy. The time to go over the evidence while you're en route. Turns out this might not be a ripper murder after all. I'll have the computer on in the office there if you want to see for yourself. Thanks, buddy. Worked here at the warehouse as a black box research. National Transportation Safety Board. Um, this warehouse is used to go over the wreckage from plane crashes and try to determine what happened. The Vic was in charge of their highest priority investigation at the moment. Gone through the victim's computer. In this case, notes indicate he was selling secrets. The idiot kept records. <laughs> selling corp secrets, not the most wise career choice. Nope. Some runner like you probably offed him to cover up the corpse ma his corp master's involvement and tried to make it look like a ripper killing. Here's the office key. Check it out for yourself if you want. Thankfully, that troll is not our officer troll, but hey, it's Dresden. Let's go talk to Dresden. Buddy, fancy meeting you here at the scene of another murder. Mac, surprised to see you here. Let me guess, Officer Gregory kept tipped you off? Suppose you made an impression on him at the market yesterday. Or your cred stick did, at any rate. Chuckles. See, to tell you the truth, I was kind of pissed when I gave that guy all my money, but he's actually turned out to be really fucking useful to the story. Surprise, another Rick. Ripper victim. Looks like you've been putting in some overtime, Dresden. What can you tell me about the victim? Victim's male, mixed uh, Native American descent, age 38. Based on the condition of the body, looks like he was killed around 2 in the morning. And yes, I'm a little tired. Bodies have been piling up like cordwood, it seems. Still grinning. He's got it. Cause of death, unknown. Um... Several internal organs were removed from his body after death quite gruesomely. I'm not sure if the killer even knew what they wanted before they started cutting. Um, not much else to tell you yet. He really does have a lot of pre-existing scar tissue. Probably had major surgery at some point in the recent history. Um. Huh. What was on the butcher's shopping list, Doc? Lungs? <sighs> Definitely took the lungs. See, that seems really out of place with the rest of our killings. Because this guy, I mean, he's been a surgeon. He's basically repossessing organs. That's the that's the thing. I mean, he took Sam's rusted out liver and that girl's eyes. And the other girl, guys, uh, shit, I forgot. Uh, wow, I'm totally a bad person. But um, he just took the one organ that was fixed. So unless this guy was all fixed, this doesn't make any sense. Um... I don't do theories. I'm just a scientist who prefers to happen to prefer dead people. However, that's the damage in the chest cavity. The victim's lungs were transplants, which is interesting. Huh. Yeah. Well, and the girl's eyes were, too. Um. Great. Um. Hmm. Who's that lady? Cool. I'm going to go talk to her then. Later, Dresden. I really think someone is repossessing organs, and I don't know why. Shannon Hapsky, you're not a cop. <sighs> I'm independent. What's your relationship to the dead man? He's my brother. I've been trying to speak with him. Afraid his period is too disoriented by his recent journey to answer me. Shaman? Yes, for all the good it's doing me, I, if I could just make contact, I might be able to deliver justice and allow my brother's spirit to rest. Um, I can tell you you're shouldering a heavy burden, but maybe there's an easier way. But then inspiration. Um, brother's spirit I may not be alone. Con concentrates are droning a low chant you can barely hear. Yes, there are others, other spirits who may be of help. Features hardened in frustration. If she's searching for something that remains elusive. Sighing, she eyes fixes you with a stare. But I can't do it alone. What do you need? This warehouse contains the victims of plane crash victims trapped between worlds. They wish to help. They wish to be heard. And I think they have something to say about my brother's murder. That's awesome. Okay, spirits. Lone Star won't let me in there. Seem to have the run of the place. If you can find personal items that belong to the victims, I can summon a spirit to speak with us. Two such objects. Hell yeah, I can do that. 
that seems good. All right, let's let's dig a little bit here. Um, wait, 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 wait. Before we do anything dumb, where does this lead? Victim's locker, slightly jar, seven in person. Uh, inspect the toothbrush. Heart thumps in your chest, heart. This must have been, all right, so we got the comb. So we need one more. Let's check out this computer. The least we can do for this guy after they killed him is clear his history. Oh, this is what uh, uh, the officer was talking about. All right, let's see here. Um, Boeing jetliner. Corrupted. Pratt and Whitney unmanned. So Ares is doing bad things. That much we can glean. Let's read the private notes. Um... Was between the UCAS and Swiss Nation uh, reported result of equipment failure. Failure. But you find substantial evidence linking the crash to an experiment, experimental Renraku research initiative. Information could be a great deal to the right buyer. Well, I will. S you know, I don't give a shit. I'll sell that shit. No problem. The corporations can suck my dick. Especially since I'm not working for them, I really don't need to maintain, um, although this would make me very unpopular, you know, I could just, ah, I don't care, it's worth it. Do not need to go right now. Look at women posing with an assault rifle. Great. Um, well, I don't think I'm going to get anything else. Let's try over here. Okay. Oh, they actually keep pieces from those crashes here, not just the black boxes. That's kind of fucked. Alright, well, let's look in this pile of shit. Alright, what do we got? Um, there's a large pile of old shoes on the ground next to the airline seats. They could be discarded luggage, or possibly the shoes worn by the occupants of the plane at the time. Dig through the shoe pile. Nothing interesting in the pile of shoes. I could have told you that. Um, okay, this door is locked. Let's see, what do we got here? It's hard to say whether this heap of items is refused, covered from the trash, or simply trash that hasn't been taken out yet. Dig through the trash. Uh, your hands are quickly covered with sticky stuff. Searching for a minute, you find a handful of interesting items. Inspect the eerie. Burnished steel, formed into the shape of a small salmon. An intense primal fear washes over you as you touch its surface. This must have been one of the items the shaman was looking for. Take the dented lunchbox. A dented lunchbox had seen better days. You can barely make out the face of a grinning troll on the front. Inspect the cred stick. Surprisingly, surprisingly, the cred stick is still functional. You slot it and two hundred dollars. Well, I'm sorry, dead man. I just took two hundred dollars from you. I feel a little bit bad, but you know what? The dead don't need the money as much as I do. I'm daddy needs another robotic arm. All right. Um. Hey, Shannon Half Sky, you want to do me a solid here? Here they are. Me long too. What the hell is all this? Damn it, McCluskey. Oh shit. Shouldn't have done this right here. So this isn't, <laughs> this isn't some stylish drum circle, isn't it? Standard procedure to con Ma'am, consider yourself contracted. Now get the hell out. <laughs> get outside. Maybe, hopefully she got time to do stuff? What'd she get? The man is an ass. <laughs> uh, there's no helping it now. I'd just be grateful you were able to collect these items before the cards cutted everything off. Can we steal some of the spirit? Not from here, afraid. Spirits have domains to which they are anchored. We need to get back in there. Um. Uh, let's see. Rent-a-cops like these won't tie up the place for long. 
Agree. Clear by nightfall. Sure you're up for this? Yeah. If it means your brother's killer doesn't take another life, then yes. You're welcome, lady. Also, Sam's killer. Uh, since we have time, we should probably go and list some help. We may post security overnight. You know where to find the kind of people we do? Um, yeah, you could say that. Good. I'll put up the money if you find the bodies. She produces a little fistful of crumpled million from inside a leather pouch and starts to count it out and shoves the whole wad at you. Maybe back here at midnight. The spirits will be strong then. Solid. All right, back to the seamstress's union. All right, as you start to leave the warehouse, your common chirps and the face of Coyote pops up on the screen. Oh, hey, Mac, you in a little something? Getting jerked around by uh, Lone Star. Same old thing. I hear you. Your jaw sets. I don't know if I ever told you this, but I was born royal. BTL pushers like Stevie J ran the squats. That ran my world when I was growing up. Oh, born in the royal. Yeah. I remember. She looks relieved. Whiz. I have a cousin, Gino. He's been missing for months. He hit the sprawl about a year ago and immediately fell in with some tweakers. Bad guys. They hooked him up on high amp dream chips and started using him for all sorts of dreck. Tried to help him, but he pushed me away, and then he disappeared. I've been shooting up BTL labs ever since trying to find him, so that's partially what that's about. Guessing you have a new lead. It's not a lead. Face lights up. She's running hot. She has a serious edge. I know exactly where he is this time. Got an old friend who eyeballed him himself. He's, I'm on the way. Paco's with me, but we could use another hand. You in. Um. Fuck yeah, Coyote. Let's do this thing. All right. We'll get some people together for this in just a little bit. All right. Uh, we're going to end this episode here, and we'll pick up with Coyote's Crusade.